At first glance, a patchwork. But on closer inspection, it's not made of fabric, but of mobile phones. Dozens of keyboards from used phones sewn together and used as a canvas from which Menu Desire Coffee makes his works. His unusual medium makes this young Ivorian artist stand out. Recycling. Why? Because I didn't want to limit my work only to painting, to the painting, mastery, shutter. To express myself simply like that, I just wanted to bring something new. Coffee started scoring the streets and rubbish dumps to collect old phones after graduating from the Abidjan Art School. These days, he has a whole team on the lookout for him. The more they bring in, the more they'll get paid. And in a country that hardly sorts its waste, Coffee hopes to change attitudes by raising awareness about recycling. I specifically thought of the telephone because it is the tool that is closest to us. Most of my paintings speak of life, of man. The daily life of man therefore basically makes him the man in the society. The collected keyboards are passed on to these seamstress to be assembled. Coffee is the artistic brains behind the operation, thinking up new designs. One of his latest series, Life Here, acts as a portrait of the daily lives of the people of Abidjan. Some of his pieces sell for up to $1,500. And after exhibitions in Morocco, Belgium and France, his latest show is right here at home. The 28-year-old has caught the attention of the art world. To do something useful for humanity is always encouraging and to do it in a way that looks pretty and above all to raise awareness that is even better. It gives new life to the keyboards that are thrown into the streets every time and in addition the supports are innovative since he works on supports that are in fact in ruins and that brings even more to contemporary art. Coffee's works will be on display until July. You could say he's got recycling down to a fine art. I think that the fact that we're already recovering old telephones, giving a second life to this waste, people tell themselves, actually, these are things that we have thrown away and the person has recovered them to do just that. Our waste can actually bring something. So it's already a down-to-earth way of raising people's awareness.